It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 1074, The Little Guide to Starting Small, by Courtney Carver of bemorewithless.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Monday, hope you're having a great start to your week if you're listening in real time, and welcome back to Optimal Living Daily, or the OLD podcast, where I read to you from some of the best blogs I can find and get permission from, mostly covering personal development and minimalism on this show. And thank you to Gusto. If you have a business or you know someone who does, You probably know that small business owners like me wear a lot of hats, and some of those hats are totally great, but some like filing taxes and running payroll, for example, not so great. That's where Gusto comes in. Gusto makes payroll, taxes, and HR actually easy for small businesses. Fast, simple payroll processing, benefits, and expert HR support all in one place. Gusto automatically pays and files your federal, state, and local taxes so you don't have to worry about it, Plus, they make it easy to add on health benefits and even 401ks for your team. Those old school clunky payroll providers just weren't built for the way modern small businesses work, but Gusto is. Better yet, now's the best time to get set up for the new year. Don't wait. Listeners get three months free when they run their first payroll. Try a demo and see for yourself at gusto.com slash old. That's G-U-S-T-O dot com slash O-L-D. For now, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. The Little Guide to Starting Small by Courtney Carver of bemorewithless.com. Every lasting change that I've made has started with one small step. I've made my share of go big or go home moves, but after a while my momentum waned and the new habits faded. In the last few years, I wised up. My changes have been slow and deliberate instead of fast and furious. Life changes all the time, so we have to change too. We can't treat our bodies like we are 22 when we are 42. We can't be as self-serving as we were before we had children. We can't ignore the health implications of diet and lifestyle when we know so much. We can't work soulless jobs when we know they are killing us. We can choose to change or we can wait until we don't have a choice. How often have you considered making a change and then thought, it will take too long. I don't know if it'll work. People will think I'm weird. Someone else already did it better than I can. I'm not ready. I don't want to. I could never do that. Why bother if it ain't broke? I've used every excuse in the book and hope that I can save you the trouble of working through them on your own. Excuses typically aren't well thought out reasonable objections, but instead an expression of fear to change. I hope this will help you take those excuses off the table. It will take too long. It will take just as long regardless of the start date. If you start today, you'll be in a better place next year. If you start in five years, you'll be in a better place in six. Right now is the right time. I don't know if it'll work. Well, you never know until you try. If it doesn't work, find another way. People will think I'm weird. People will think you are weird, and that won't kill you. Someone else already did it better than I can. Ask them how they did it. Learn from them and then do it your way because you can get better at anything you want. You have one thing that no one else has, your life experience and your uniqueness. I'm not ready. You will never be ready because you don't know what you don't know until you get started. I don't want to. You don't have to want to. Instead, want something as a result. For instance, you don't want to give up sugar, but you want to be healthier. I could never do that. Of course you can. Breathe, you've got this. Why bother if it ain't broke? It is broken. With any change that you make, you must be kind to yourself. This intentional change may be new territory and no one said it would be easy. You aren't perfect and you can't control everything. Things will get in your way. You will get in your own way. That's okay, it's part of the process. Allow for the ebb and flow of your motivation and dedication. There will be a day that you feel like giving up. It will pass. Ask for support, but don't rely on it. This is your life and you can't expect a team of cheerleaders for every move you make. Don't wait until you're ready. Extensive planning, lengthy spreadsheets, and thoughts of starting tomorrow are all your way of resisting change. Pick one of the following changes or make up your own and start small today. Debt. Paying off debt gives you the freedom to make decisions based on something besides money. This is the exact formula I used for getting out of debt. Number one, read The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Number two, 
save $1,000 in an emergency fund. And number three, write down all of your debt except for your house payment. Keep up monthly payments on all bills, but put more towards the smallest debt. Some will argue that you should pay the debt with the highest interest rate first, but I disagree. Pay off the smallest debt first and let the joy of accomplishment motivate you to pay the next. Start small and knock them out one by one. Dave offers other steps, but this is all you need to know to successfully pay down all of your debt. This doesn't happen overnight, but when it happens, it's worth every minute spent. Clutter. Becoming clutter-free takes time. It often involves three steps forward and one step back. Start with one box in the corner of one room or a tabletop or countertop. Clear the area, donating or trashing what you don't need. Declare that space your clutter-free zone. Pretend that anything that touches that area will go up in smoke and be vigilant about keeping it clutter-free. Enjoy the empty space and use the feeling of clarity from an uncluttered space to give you the momentum to start another area. Read the clutter-free book that I wrote with Leo Babauta in between cluttering to learn why you have that clutter in the first place and how to get rid of it for good. Diet. What do you wanna change about your diet? I wanted to stop eating meat, but it didn't happen overnight. I stopped eating beef and pork first. After a few months, I dropped poultry. If for health or other reasons, you wanna make a dramatic change in your diet, start with a small change. When the change becomes the new normal, start working on the next small change. Work. Are you doing meaningful work? Be careful how you answer that question. Meaningful can be a variety of things, things like creating art, saving lives, inspiring others, feeding your family, or employing other people. Starting a new career or business is scary stuff, but the rewards are amazing when you find the right thing for you. If you find that right thing and decide to leave your current job, take slow, deliberate action to move towards it. Number one, how much money do you need, not want, to make to change your work situation? If you are debt-free, this part is easier. Number two, brainstorm revenue streams. Write those revenue streams down and see where the money will come from. Read Your Money or Your Life and consider the micro course, How to Create a Micro Business That Matters. Number three, start saving. Set aside two or three months of living expenses so that you don't feel pressure to make your new business perform overnight. If you are leaving a good paying job to go out on your own, you will hustle. Number four, don't marry your business plan. If you decide to work for yourself, give your business the flexibility to evolve and change. And number five, dump bad ideas. If you're starting your own business, you will have amazing ideas, life-changing ideas, and crappy ideas. Don't be afraid to let the go so you can focus on the amazing. You might have to build your business while you are still working a day job. While you think that may be exhausting, if you are building a business that excites you, you will have more energy than you think. The changes I've made are universal to some degree or another. Who doesn't wanna pay off debt, eat healthier, or become clutter-free? Once I made those changes, I had the confidence to quit my job and start my own small business. Adapting easily to change is a great skill to have in life and business. The best way to get more comfortable with change is to initiate it. Don't wait for life to happen to you. Have reasonable expectations and remember that overnight success typically takes years. Start small and the result will be life-changing. Lastly and most importantly, remember that life goes on while you are making changes. You can't put things on hold until you are out of debt, skinnier, healthier, or in a better mood. Life is happening right now and it is up to you, regardless of circumstances, to choose how you'll experience it. Don't wait. You just listened to the post titled The Little Guide to Starting Small by Courtney Carver of BeMoreWithLess.com. And thank you again to Gusto. Gusto offers modern, easy payroll, benefits, and HR to small businesses across the country. They were even named Best Online Payroll by PC Mag. Get three months free when you run your first payroll at gusto.com slash old. And don't wait, now's the best time to get set up for 2019. That's gusto.com slash old. All right, I'll leave it at that. I hope you're having a great day and start to your week. Thank you for being here and listening to me and for subscribing to the show. And I'll be back tomorrow reading to you. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.